What a pugmo peeps. Hi, how are ya? Yes, I know. No Thursday video, la la la, we all know. I've just been going through a lot. I'm not... I'm not gonna talk about it. It's just personal and... Yeah, it happens. I wanted to come on here and talk about just some random things. Um, first off, about the new Red, er, YouTube Red series, Koba Kai. Oh my god. Fantastic. Not, not only is this a better reboot of the Karate Kid series, in my opinion. This is my opinion. No one's paid me. You know, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but it also has William Zapka and... Ralph Macho reprising their roles and oh my god I I just I cannot say enough about it it is a great series and I hope YouTube when you're not being broken that you will consider maybe doing a season two all right your girl if you want to reviews I'll do it um second thing is yes, House is Quieter. Like I said, some personal things happen, but yeah, I'm gonna gloss over that one because I'm I don't want to talk about it. I'm not ready to. So hmm. another thing, again, I want to talk about is my depression. Yes, I know there's a lot of people out there that have it and are dealing with it, you know. Some in a healthy way where they go to therapy, they, you know, they um do hobbies. You know, and then there's others that just give up and unfortunately take a sad way out. Many, 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 many years ago, I was on that path. Before I got diagnosed, I had tried to harm myself. School wasn't the best place for me. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I, I wasn't always the best student or anything. Or the best child. I barely left my room, for God's sakes. But... You know, I made it. I'm here. And through my life, I've had ups and downs. After I was diagnosed, I was put on... Well, first, before I was diagnosed with major depression disorder. Depressive disorder? Um, I was just very depressed and my anxiety... And so I went and I talked to my doctor, who at the time, was just, he's great, he was great. Um, he put me on something called Zalotza, yeah. And at first I worked great. This is where a story comes in. A little mini story time here. Now this video is going to go long, but trust me. It's somewhat going somewhere. Um... I can't remember how many years ago this was, but I was still married. Um, one day my friend just like, oh, I have to go on a walk and I have something wrong. I have a butt on my butt cheek or above my butt or something. And oh, this poor lady. Um, she's like, can you come with me? I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll go with you. And I'm thinking I'll just sit outside or I'll in the chair. That's what I should have done. <laughs> and nurse should have said, no, friend, can you go sit out and sit there, you know, or whatever, but it didn't happen. <laughs> um, my poor friend was on the table, and she's getting, um, he shredded, you know, patched up, gone, whatever. And the poor doctor, I've known this doctor and her daughters for 
flipping years. I knew the family, great people, whatever. Um, friends on the table, I'm trying to think if she was this way. Yeah, she was laying this, her head was here, body was here, Doc was here, there she's there. Nikki was in the corner. Diagonal, like, friend's head, table, Nikki. And they started the procedure. And, you know, I'm pretty good about gross stuff, believe it or not. Some stuff more than others. Um, and we don't know if it was from what happened. See my friend get, get the thing taken off or the side effect of the medication I just started or what. But I ended up passing out, fainting, smacking my head. I think it was here and here, or maybe. Um, and all I remember is music. I remember listening to the Supremes, which it's not a bad, not a bad group. And I'm also I'm starting to come to them like, what the? And I can't remember none. Low numbers, nothing. I can't remember. Actually, I like that now. Anyway. <laughs> so, at first, doctor's like, she's looking at me. Actually, hey. <sighs> um, first, you know, I take in them by surprise. I'm like, oh my god, no. My friend's like, go help her. <laughs> and... You know, eventually I came to and I was whisked to another room to where, you know, I was being looked at. I was, and at first I didn't think I had a concussion. I, I think I twisted my ankle or something. I can't remember. But I had x-rays and I think I had a CAT scan. If not, I should. But anyway. <laughs> Dog just farted. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, I, like, maybe day after, or, they said I didn't have a concussion, but just keep an eye on my dad, my mom, and, and my friend, and my then husband, who, thank you so much, all of you, um, it's like, no, she's got a concussion, her eyes are huge, her pupils are huge, you know, <laughs> when I came back from the hospital, I could barely walk on my ankle or my... I can't remember what I did if I twisted my ankle or something, but it was funny. I literally, I got from the door. I was either coming in or I was laying down. But either way, I jumped up off the, <laughs> off the futon. And <laughs> I swear this is funny. And hobbled my little butt. Yeah, it's little. Um, to that bathroom and proceed to say hi to the porcelain god. But I did feel a little bit better, and I passed out for a little while. And my mom and my dad and all that told my ex, he's like, wait, you know, you can let her sleep for, I want to say like half an hour or something like that. Probably less than that. And then wake her up and check on her and all that. And he did that. And... I had to say thank you to him for that. And <sighs> and I ended up going back to the hospital, maybe not the hospital, but the walk in, something like that. Um because I just I I have migraines, but this was like one of the worst and I just I couldn't. So I went back to the walk in or or whatever huh. and there I was diagnosed with oh doctor finally said I had a concussion no duh and I was diagnosed with what's called oh was it shell shocked or in other word um post concussive dis syndrome or a TBI. Now, 
I, I've always had memory problems, but this just kicks it up a notch with more of the migraines. In my case, every case is different. So, there's some stuff I had to relearn, there's some names, just some stuff I kind of had to do to kind of, and I still have problems with memory, you know, it just, I'm like, oh, I can remember that, but what's that, you know, type of thing. And, also during this time, I was put on Paxil. Did not work for me. I stopped taking it. My poor ex, he's like, uh... No, you gotta stop this. This is, uh-uh. You're nuts. Phrasing. Summarizing. I ended up getting serotonin, serotonin, serotonin syndrome, where, uh, how, I'm not even really sure how I can, but basically, <laughs> too farted. <laughs> anyway, I got giggles. Um, so I stopped taking the pack, so I called my doctor's office, my ex came in with me, and he's like, uh, yeah, we're on the cusp of a divorce, if you don't take her off this, if you give her something else, she does not need to be put on pack, so I, and I, okay, so finally, I was prescribed Zoloft, and a couple other things, and over time, you know, I did go into therapy after my divorce, and I'm still dealing with a lot. And that's where, for my therapist, love her. She is like one of the best. Um, she's diagnosed me with major depressive disorder, things, the anxiety attacks, and all that. Now it's been years since I've had to go to the ER for a severe panic attack. Thank the look. Thank the gods, but not so much with the migraines. But yeah, that's that. Um. Oh, another story. The last time I went to the ER, this was maybe a year ago, something like that. Um, my migraines were so my migraine was so bad I was in tears. I was crying like my Imitrex did not help. Was not touching it. So I'm like, okay, next course of time, go to the ER and get medicine. So I I walked in and I, you know, did all the insurance stuff and checked in and I waited and they took me back. <laughs> They're like, okay, can you this or are you this? And I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, okay, um, we can all either do one or two things. We can give you an IV, or we can give you intermuscular. I'm like, well, why don't we try the shot in the butt? Oh my god, that was hilarious. My poor mom. <laughs> she came to get me, and I'm just like, it did. I was a mess. <laughs> I was, t I thought I was talking normal, but my mom, it's like, Nikki, shut up. <laughs> You're mumbling, shut up. <laughs> and I was texting my friend and my dad and my boyfriend, and I'm like, I'm the, <laughs> they gave me mess. So anyway, my mom's on her way to take me home. She comes in the ER, in the room with me, and she's like, okay, we can go now. And... I'm like, Ma, I, I, I want a, oh, I want a chocolate milkshake with <laughs> some chicken nuggets. <laughs> and I was like, okay, we'll go get you milkshake and nuggets. So, Mom did that. She, I'm like, I did that, that, that. <laughs> Not making any sense, just hilarious. And I walk into the house. My mom's like, okay, you go in, you rest. <laughs> No, <laughs> it gets funnier. I swear. Um, <laughs> I go in and I'm passing out from the medication, and my, <laughs> my boyfriend and my and the friend, our roommate and friend, they take stuff out of my hands. Like, eh? 
And somehow I wanted a peanut butter sandwich, peanut butter jelly sandwich, so I had to make that or get that made. I can't remember. Um, and then I started at. They're like, Nikki, what do you want? And I'm like, I wanted, I wanted to say chocolate, but somehow it came out chocolate tomatoes. <laughs> so to this very day, they still tease me about the chocolate tomatoes. They're like, oh, I went to start, still didn't have any. Like bastards. So yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> And fast forward to now, I'm I'm on a little higher dose of a Zoloft, but that was my decision. I felt okay. I'm a bit on here. It's not it's time to bump up. So talk to my doctor and let her know. She's awesome, by the way. Um, yeah. And I'm still going to see my counselor, and she's helping me. But I also started, I don't know if you can even see my hair so thick. With all the stress that has been going on lately, I started pulling my hair out. And I'm not talking like little strands, I'm talking about maybe that much at a time. Yeah. I'm trying to stop, I'm trying to figure out what I can do instead of that. So, yeah. So having said that, I'm sorry if this video was a little long, but it kind of needed to be said. And I kind of wanted to do a little story time again. That was fun. Especially this story. This story was just hilarious. Now, if you like these type of stories, give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And then next to that subscribe button, there should be a little bell icon. So, yeah. You know when I decide to put up new videos. So, and if you want to find me, social media is down below. Ask me questions either here or on my social medias. I would love to do a QA. and a So, and with that, thanks for hanging out with me in a Grumpy Pug model over there. And hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.